Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a turtle. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the shell. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having a hard time drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left of the circle, make a small mark to indicate the back of the shell. Don't place the mark too far away from the circle, otherwise the shell will be too long. Now connect the mark to the top of the circle using a long curved line. Draw a horizontal line at the bottom to finish the guide for the back portion of the shell. On the top right side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about one fifth the size of the first circle. On the top right side of the head circle, draw a small arc as a guide for the muzzle. Don't make this arc too long, it should be wide and flat. Connect the circles using curved lines to create the guide for the neck. The line at the top should curve more than the line at the bottom. On the lower right side of the first circle, draw an angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and then bend it again at the bottom to indicate the foot. The shape of the line should be similar to the letter Z. On the left side, draw another angled line as a guide for the hind leg. This line should also be similar to the letter Z but more tilted. On the left side, draw a sloping line as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines, now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, on the top right side, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. On top of the eye, draw a curved line for the brow. Curve up the outer tips of the brow. Add a shorter line at the top to make the brow thicker. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle, draw a bigger circle and shade it in for the pupil. Add a few curved lines under the eye for wrinkles. Darken the front part of the initial arc to create the muzzle. Make the top part of the muzzle thinner than the arc. Near the bottom, curve the line inward to create the mouth. The left side of the mouth should end below the eye. Darken the bottom part of the arc to finish the muzzle. Inside the top part of the muzzle, draw a couple of tiny circles for the nostrils. At the top, draw a short curved line along the arc for the brow on the other side. Then darken the edges of the guides on the left to create the top of the head. Darken the guides at the bottom to finish the shape of the head and neck. Use wavier lines as you darken the lines for the neck. This turtle is a red-eared slider, so draw a thin wavy shape to the left of the eye for the distinct pattern on the head. The marking doesn't have to be perfect, just draw a couple of wavy lines to create the stripe. You can make the stripe as long or as short as you'd like. Sketch lightly at first, and when you get a shape that you like, darken the lines. Use the big shapes in the middle as guides to draw the top part of the shell. Darken the top edges of the guides with one continuous line. Make the sides of this line a bit longer.
lightly sketch a long horizontal line near the bottom of the guides for the lower edge of the top shell. Curve this line on the right side along the neck. When you get the shape right, darken the line. Use shorter jagged lines as you darken the path of this line. These shorter lines should be similar to check marks. Use the angled line on the lower right side as a guide to draw the front leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. The shape of the leg should be wide and thick. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Lightly sketch a curved line at the bottom for the foot. At the bottom, draw a series of short angled lines for the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the claws. Make the toe at the top short and then gradually draw them bigger the farther down they are. Use the angled line on the left side as a guide to draw the hind leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the shape of the leg thick using curved lines. The top part of the leg should overlap the foot. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Along the curved line at the bottom, draw a series of tiny triangle-like shapes for the claws. Draw a few short lines above the claws to separate the toes. Darken the lower edge of the initial guides to create the bottom part of the shell. Draw a curved line on the left side of the front leg for the opening on the bottom of the shell. To the left of the hind leg, draw a curved line, and then darken the initial sloping line to create the short pointy tail. Add a shorter curved line under the tail for the tip of the bottom shell. Now add the pattern to the top shell. First, lightly sketch a curved horizontal line near the bottom. Then add a series of short vertical lines inside the shape. Draw the vertical lines along the angled lines at the bottom. When you get these shapes right, darken the lines. These shapes should be similar to small squares. The small squares should curve up on the right side. Now lightly sketch three long angled lines across the entire shape. Make these lines pointy at the top so that they're similar to pentagons. When you get these shapes right, darken the lines. The shapes don't have to be perfect, just make them a bit pointy at the top. Now draw short lines from the pointy tips to the top edge of the shell. Now erase the initial guidelines for a cleaner drawing. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay to leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. And now shade your drawing. Use a lighter value on the right side of the shell for a highlight. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For a light value, push down very lightly on your pencil. For darker values, push down harder. Red-eared sliders have stripes on their bodies, so as you shade the head and neck, leave a few thin areas blank for the stripes. Don't overthink this process, just create a few thin shapes for the stripes and shade around them.
Add stripes and spots the same way on the feet and tail. If you'd like, you can skip the stripes and just use a single medium value throughout the body for an easier drawing. Draw a few square-like shapes on the bottom of the shell using a dark value for the pattern found there. Add a few shadows using a dark value too. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Slowly and gradually continue to add value throughout the body. Use strokes that go in one direction. If you shade using strokes that go in multiple directions, the drawing can look messy. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Add a few angled lines using a dark value to the top of the shell for more of the pattern. Remember that you can skip the pattern and just use a medium value throughout the body for an easier drawing. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. This grounds the turtle so that it doesn't appear to be floating. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the turtle. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.